Hi everybody, it's Tiffany here. Um, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit today about logging onto CBX. Um, we've talked about CBX a lot, and remember, when you log on to CBX, you can pull a buyer profile for your listing. Um, you can use CBX as a listing tool to get a listing, but even if you've already gotten a listing, it's great to go into CBX because there's so much data in there, and you can link that buyer profile up with a Facebook ad and it's pretty awesome. So let me show you how to do it. Um, there is a lot in CBX so I'm not going to cover everything right now. I will come back and cover other things later and we'll do, you know, we're just going to break CBX, CBX up into a few different parts, okay? Because um, there is too much to do in just one video. But I do want you to be able to access the buyer profile. So let's um this is a universal login page for coldwell banker um the way you get here is to go to the universal login page type in your first name dot your last name at coldwellbanker.com and then your password all right once you're here we go to the little button up, up on the upper right hand corner that's your springboard um at first, you know, you, you'll have to scroll down to the bottom, and that's where they've put CBX. Remember, it used to just be an app for tablets, but now they've brought it to the desktop, which is awesome. Okay, when you launch that, once again, you'll have to, um, if you haven't saved it or launched it before, your first name, dot your last name, at coldwellbanker.com, and then that same password. All right, so we're going to log into CBX. And um, I just pulled a house off of our website here locally. So let's just add a house in here and see what it does, okay? We're going to call this the Smith House because, well, you can call it whatever you want, right? Um, but if you're, you know, presenting to the Smiths, then definitely call it the Smith House. Um, if you're not presenting the house to anybody, I guess it wouldn't matter. Um, but you do want, you know, to fill in the address um, because this is linked to the Census Bureau and it gives, I mean, there's so much data that it can pull. The more information you put in, the more data that it can pull. All right, 31210. This house is 2,696 square feet. It has four beds and two and a half baths okay so we filled out the address the square footage beds and baths next all right you can add a home assessment we'll come to that later it is optional okay so we'll do that on another video all right here we can enter a price um, and you can add price adjustments once you go into the home and actually view it they may have um, an amazing kitchen with Viking appliances or something so that adds a lot to the value of the home but maybe the bathrooms haven't been updated and are really really out of date so that takes away from the value of the home this is where you could do that price adjustment you can see what um, you know they suggest the home should be at you know and they say two hundred and four thousand dollars the estimated price range is right in there um, so you know let's use this price or this price range or you can say no they're really off I don't think that's right so um, we're gonna use this price okay next Okay, now it pulls up all the slides that you can use to try to sell this home. Okay, now let's look. Um, you, your agent info will be pulled. It will have a picture of you and all the information that you've put in Coldwell Banker. Um, so that's a great one to have. You can have the slide with my listings. See, I don't have any listings, so it's not there. But if you maybe are low on listings, you can do the listings for your office and a lot of stuff would populate there um, what I want to talk to you about is right here the buyer profile um, see I have an exclamation point here that means I need to edit this slide um, so let's do that and let's see what the buyer profile for this 
home is because that's what's really important. You want to know the buyer profile so you can match the home with the buyer, right? And, and remember how we went on Facebook and we made these ads and you could choose the age, age range of the person getting the ad. You can choose, you know, what education of person, you know, the person seeing your ad is going to be, what their income level is, all that stuff. Remember, well, that fits perfectly with what is right here. Okay. Look at the information, the median age range of the resident in this area are most likely to move to this home is 37. The average education for somebody likely to be in this home is a bachelor's degree. Um, it, it has some other information. Um, you know, right at 30% of these homes have children. The average family size is 3.1, that poor 0.1 kid. Um, total population in families, um, their median commute time. Average household income is 86,000. Average mortgage debt or median mortgage debt, 82,000. And the increase in residents income is 33%. Yay for them. So they might like seeing that. I mean, I don't know. You can click on these. If you don't click on them, then it won't show anything. Um, top three areas moving to Bibb County. This is a Bibb County zip code. And it says Jones County, Houston County, and Monroe County. I mean, from what I'm seeing, I don't know that Houston County is really moving to Bibb. That doesn't seem quite 100% accurate to me. But, you know, so you can take or leave some of this stuff. Some of this stuff may be accurate. Use what works for you. You don't have to use it all. Um, and it says that in the last 14 days, in the last two weeks, there have been 312 inquiries um, submitted at Coldwell Banker for the, this exact zip code. So people are looking about it. Um, and, oh. Don't you love this zip code profile? I mean, for this zip code, 22% are in style. Well, isn't that good to know? 13% are savvy suburbanites. Oh, and 9% soccer moms. <laughs> I don't know why you would want to put that there. You can or you cannot. Um, I don't know if that is helpful. Okay, here are some other um, information. Um, the average home value um, in this area is 190000 You know, um, things like this are so good to know. Um, average property tax, um, a, a potential seller or buyer would like to know that. Average mortgage, mortgage payment and basic homeowner expenses, um, 9000 um, These things are really good to know, especially this right here. The age, the average education reached, and the average household income. You can plug those numbers into Facebook. Along with that, you know, I, I, I always tell you to click on that likely to move. And then you're targeting your buyer profile on Facebook. You know, if this is your listing, go into Facebook. And I mean, you don't have to just say, I only want to target 37 year olds, but you know, 35 to 42 or something, you know, you, you know, the degree that, you know, that income level likely to move and, you know, in the, the, these areas, you know, and you're going to be much more likely to put your ad in front of a true and potential buyers. The, this age range is most likely to buy this house from, you know, what census data says. So this is the information that I've been telling y'all that is CBX can give you. And it's so important to pull out of CBX. So I want I wanted you to be able to see it and know how to go in there and pull it out. Next time when we come back, you know, we can talk about putting it all together. And there's more information that you could pull out of in here that says so many things. There's so many, you know, heat maps that tell you different things. I mean, it's, it's amazing how much information CBX can pull for you. But for now, that, that is some good information for you to know. Um, we're we're going to say we're done. Um, and I will come back and do a little bit more information on CBX. But right now, you can get a good buyer profile. You can use this tool to get a good buyer profile. And you can use that buyer profile 
plug that into a Facebook ad, and you are really good to go. So I hope this helps, and I'll be back later with more information. Bye.